Welcome back, Hookaholics. May 9th, 2020. Mystery Tackle Box Elite for May. Just uh, dropped off. Um, so I got this today. Yay. Let's dig in, right? If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's your uh, mail order tackle supply uh, monthly subscription. Uh, they got three tiers, uh, Standard, Pro, and Elite. I go for the Elite, top of the tier. This is a bass uh, box. They also have, in the lower tiers, they have some multi-species and some panfish and some uh, saltwater and uh, uh, catfishing boxes with baits, lures, and terminal tackle that are specifically designed and oriented towards that species of fish. So there's really a flavor for every angler um, based on what they want to do. What I like about MTB uh, and this style, I'm not going to say specifically MTB, but this style of, of uh, subscription is they throw in baits that you wouldn't normally find necessarily in your local uh, tackle shop, in your local Walmart, in your local retailer where you pick up your, your tackle. They expose you to brands and varieties of lures and, uh, and profiles um, that you might not see. Uh, and in this day and age, it, during, the, uh, during the issues that we've had over the last couple of months, um, this has been a godsend to supply me with some interesting tackle, interesting um, lures, because a lot of the local tackle stores are closed, and they, the only options other than that would be the curbside, touchless, contactless uh, BS that I just don't go with. Um, I like to pick up my hooks, I like to hold my lures, um, look at the colors and the profiles face-to-face -to, -face to really decide and discern whether I want to go with this particular uh, shad pattern or maybe go to this brand with their shad pattern because that's got a little bit of a more lifelike imitation to the shad in my waterway as composed to like uh, California shad or uh, you know a shad from the Midwest where there are slight different variations because those waterways are, are variant and the foliage in the waterway is variant so these fish are going to change their color patterns ever so slightly with little hues of green or blue or what have you to, uh, to better camouflage themselves in those specific regions. But, nevertheless, maze came. So, anxiously anticipated, I'm gonna use a screwdriver today. Uh, I'm going to tear open this box. <clears throat> so, as always, MTB offers you a little social media contest where you can uh, catch a fish, scale it into length, and post your picture on their website and through their social media to win prizes. Um, everything from in-store credits and Shop Carl's has some of the best deals, especially, specifically, if you're a Shop Carl's member. Uh, I am not. I should be. I took their free trial for a little bit, but I just didn't renew it. You get a Dibble Digest, which is a hint, tip, and trick uh, pamphlet in this month. Where do anglers, where do anglers poop? Uh, <laughs> boat anglers know all about that. Uh, jigs and trailers, more equal, more bass. Uh, how to set up a Texas rig. Ooh, there might be a Texas rig thing in here. Or at least hooks for a Texas rig. Um, so that's pretty cool. You got two little hints and tips. You got, uh, you know, j jigs plus trailers equal more bass. Um, that's a neither here nor there. There are people I know that only fish naked jigs. They don't ever put trailers on their jigs. They let the natural skirt materials do the work for them. And then there are people that I know that swear by you have to have a chunk trailer or a craw trailer or even a swim bait, something on there to add a flash vibration and length, uh, not just bulk, but length to your bait. They swear that's what catches a larger fish. But I've seen people with absolute finesse micro jigs uh, you know, skirted jigs pull out six and eight pound bass. And I've seen people with, you know, an eight inch Kitek on the back of a full size jig uh, pulling out one pound bass. <laughs> so, you know, teach their own. There's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes you're in the right time in the wrong place or in the right place in the wrong time. So, uh, as always, we got a what's in your box card. Uh, there's an add on if you'd like and you're a subscriber, you can add things from the Shop Carl's website and not pay for the shipping because they'll just include it in your box each month. So say I found something on the site I wanted, I could have said, hey, add this to my box, and then when it shipped to me today, it would have been inside the box. I wouldn't have had to pay extra shipping. That's a, a cool feature that MTB offers uh, their subscribers. We have, in this month's box, two, four, six, eight, eight items. So we're going to go through these eight little items. 
Evergreen Customs Crankbait, $15.99 bait. Now, Evergreen, Evergreen Customs. If you don't know that name, you should know that name. That is the lead design for the Chatterbait. That is the Jackhammer. Evergreen added their flair to the, to the Chatterbait to come up with that Jackhammer Chatterbait, changing the blade setup, changing the hook keeper a little bit, uh, adding a, a different uh, a variant to the style and profile of it to make it, you know, basically taking a... Uh, Taking your 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 car and and having Brabus hit it up with uh, you know superchargers and and uh, and all, so uh, they come to us here with this Evergreens Custom CH1 floating two and a quarter inch seven sixteenths of an ounce one foot diving crankbait. This is nice. Subtle knock. It's got a couple of BBs in there. The color on this is called uh, Damon Shad. So, there's your color. You've got this uh, pearlescent blue. Uh, you know, got dark brown, black stripe on top. Blue. Then it leans down into a see-through, uh, like gold uh, midline, basically lateral line that's like gold flake and green glitter. And then down into a clearer body with the silvery white and uh, two little red spots on it. One on the chin and one on the tail section. So that definitely imitates the wounded fish. Uh, not bad. I like that. A little thin computer chip lip. Um, I'm interested to see this. This is, this is definitely a, a, you know, a higher grade profile company. So uh, I'm interested to look to see what this how this works out. Again, $15.99. Uh, sticky hooks, as always. I wonder if they list what hooks are on here. Sometimes you're lucky. Evergreen International. Uh, no, they're not listing their, their hook supplier. But it's a Daiwa bait, so, you know, it's going to be probably pretty good uh, hooks. <coughs> First bait out of the box, $15.99. Would I pay $16 for it if it wasn't an Evergreen? No. I'm sure you can find these, these uh, you know, computer chip lip uh Baits anywhere for probably you know a third the price, uh, but when you're paying for the quality of an evergreen brand bait, uh, a design bait, then yeah, you, know, you can expect to pay that premium price. Is it overall worth it? Mm. Is it going to catch a fish? Hopefully. Is it going to catch a fish guaranteed? No. You could spend a hundred dollars for it. It's not going to guarantee you're going to catch a fish. But uh, but I take I take quality over over quantity a lot of times, and I give evergreen a quality assurance kind of thing. Uh, Bagley's Spin R Shad is their next for $10.99. Bagley's Spin R Shad. I'm a big fan of Bagley's baits. This is a little prop bait. So you got an MTB exclusive. MTB exclusive on there. So Bagley threw a couple of these at MTB and said, here you go. Uh, it's a Spin R Shad because it is a tail prop spy bait. So you've got your double trebles, nice pattern there. I like the red on the gill flake or on the gill gill plate. That's always good. Um, little prop on the back. And that's a small prop, so it's probably not going to give off a ton of noise. So it's a, a fairly finessey style. Um, this one comes. Oh, they have a twenty percent off. Receive twenty percent off your Bagley lures. When you use this uh, code, offer ends December 31st, 2020. So till the end of this year, uh, MTB2020 uh, is, your, is your code there. Maybe you can get 20% off um, on your bait. Uh, heat compressed molding. Yeah, it's an injection molded bait. It's plastic pressed injection molded. It's not resin. It's not wood. It's cheap, easy, multi, you know easy to manufacture, quick to manufacture, pressed plastic. That all said, uh, quality's still there. Most things are injection molded nowadays anyway. It is a silent bait. There's no rattle in it. No need to because you've got that buzzing prop on the back. Uh, this I like. This is a water cover kind of bait. I like to throw prop baits, front end tail props, uh, or by props where they have the front and the back at the same time. Um, 
just as like an initial toss out there if I'm in a, in a waterway that I don't know if there's any top water bites, I don't know if there's any fish at all, I can throw out, cover a lot of water, create a lot of disturbance on the surface, and see if I can catch out of my eye any any fish reacting to it, any draw in from, uh, from the depths and bring some fish in, call them in. So that's pretty cool. That again was $10.99. And Bagley's a name brand that I trust as well. Strike Pro Swing Pop. Strike Pro Swing Pop. That's not that. Oh, that, that, that right there, that package, I'm not happy to see. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Strike Pro. Oh, here's a Strike Pro. Oh, here we go. Uh, this room, I wonder, is this the same thing as the last one I got? Swing Pop 85 in the bluegill pattern. It is a 3.5 inch, 3 eighths ounce top water. Um... No, okay, so if you've paid attention, I had in a previous box a bait very much like this, only it was electronic. It had a little buzzing red light in its butt. This one, this one does not have that, but this is by Strike Pro. It has the little perch stripes on the side. They're giving it the, the uh, bluegill pattern because it's got the bluegill tone and color scheme. It is that jitterbug front nose plate in a hard plastic. Uh... It does have a screw, so it is tunable, because I'm noticing that this isn't perfectly perfect, perfectly perpendicular to the to the bait at the moment. It's a little bit low on, on this side, um, but it's screwed in, so that means I can potentially tune it with a little micro uh, Phillips head, which is good. Nice, sticky, sharp hooks. Needle, razor needle thin, sharp hooks. <laughs> and uh, this one is $10.49. I like these. I like any jitterbug I like. Again, top water. We're, we're out of spring, coming into summer. Um, Pre-spawn's done. We're, we're in that spawn. My water temperature's in the 60s now. So that, that binge feed is there. The top water bite is here. Obviously, that wasn't the case today when we had a low overnight of the tw in the 20s with the wind chill. Uh, 32 degrees, I think it, it hit. Um, and all day today it was just brutally windy and cold. So... Uh, you know, it doesn't feel like May. It certainly doesn't feel like May, but nevertheless, uh, the warm the warming trend is coming, and we'll be back on the water uh, with that top water bite. That is nice. Three and a half inches. That's a good moderate size. Uh, you know, you're not going to catch a well. You might. You never know. You might catch a big bass with it. But I like that, and I like hard hard lips as well as uh, as the soft pliable ones that we've had in the jitterbug, uh, the uh, yappa yappa bug, uh, which had that jitterbug style profile with that soft plastic cup. I like that because that you could throw into heavier cover and that bill, if it did get hung up on something inside aside something, it's not going to break. It's going to bend out of the way and you can wrench it out. This you have to be a lot more careful with uh, where you fish it, how you fish and retrieve it, uh, especially as a bank angler, um, that you don't get it caught between two sticks because you'll snap, snap this piece of plastic real easy. So do keep that in mind. Although I'm sure if you lose the plastic, it still makes a decent top water, uh, you know, little jerk bait slash, uh, you know, spook. So that's good. Ten forty nine again for that. <clears throat> Bandit two hundred. Shout outs to Brett. They love this. This is <laughs> this is Brett's favorite color. Well, not favorite color, but this is Brett's, Brett's one of Brett's favorite uh, baits. The Bandit two hundred, a four to eight foot diver. Um, this is their color, they call this, what do they call it, purple? Oh, pearl black, purple, purple. why did I say purple? Pearl, black, black, pearl, black, black. Now, he likes the spatter pattern, I like the splatter paints as well, but, uh, nevertheless, there you go, we'll take this guy out of here, Bandit 200, they love those, decent size, they love Bandit lures in general. I stuck myself. I've already stuck myself twice today. I put a treble through my palm. <laughs> I don't need any more hook, hooks in my hand today. There's that. Low thud. Low thud. I like that. Again, it's a non-threatening thud that'll that'll bring in finicky fish, especially in a high pressure area. Uh, they got this one at four dollars. Excuse me, six dollars and ninety-nine cents for the Bandit two hundred. Um, as always, those, those little pop-out eyes are... They always catch me. I love those eyes. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an indiscriminate bait. Again, catches fish. 
anywhere, all the time. Pretty damn good bait. Uh, next, Katana's screw lock hooks. So we've got a set of terminal tackle from Katana. These are uh, EWG screw lock belly weighted hooks. So I'm not going to take these out. They are quarter ounce on the belly weight and a four aught size hook. Um, and just standard. They've got the black paint uh, over top. So exposed lead. Uh, you know, these kinds of things, I, I tend to take a Sharpie to these and cover up the, the bright silver lead if I'm going to use it with a bait other than a shad or shiner pattern. If I'm using shiner patterns, then I leave it shiny because it adds flash. But if I'm using it on like a um, black blue or, you know, any other kind of paint scheme, I always blacken that out because I think it hides the hook along the belly profile of the fish. It doesn't, even though underspins, you'd think underspins adds that flash and drives fish. I don't know, something about me, I just don't like the idea of this one little silver blob <laughs> by, by the stomach of my bait. That's just me in the camera there. Uh, the Katana Screw Lock EWGs are $4.99. Buddha Baits Swagger Worm. This is an interesting 7-inch Strive for Higher Sense of Fishability Fish Enlightened. Hmm, Buddha. 7-inch uh, Swagger Worm by Buddha Baits. Soft plastic, has a garlic scent to it. And this is a profile I can't, I can't place the other bait like this. But I've seen other baits like this, I just can't place the manufacturer. Um, so you got your standard, you know, this really nice grub formatted single style worm. And then on the tail end you have this paddle tail. And what I can't place, there's a manufacturer that has this cutter tail just like this, where you break this appendage off and then you have that little, little hook. Uh, a more name brand. I think this is like right out of their mold. Uh, although I think the other brand that I'm assuming has a lot bigger curl, but this one is, I mean, it's the same basic style. That cutter tail, uh, paddle tail worm gives you that little bit of extra flippy action right there. Uh, as the water catches it, that'll flip out and, and add a little bit more flash. You could leave that together and fish it just as a standard paddle. Um, Again, this is this to me is great for Nico, great Ter Carolina rig, Texas rigged, um, drop shotted, all around worms kill them. Uh, this color is not listed on the package, but you've got a green, a green hued green pumpkin with uh, black and green flake, and on the top you have uh, like a. a green pumpkin with a lot of purple flake, which actually gives it this purple hue. Um, but it's actually still the green pumpkin color. As you stretch it out, you can actually see it's, it's uniformly green pumpkin. It's just got so much purple flake on the top half that it gives you that purple look. So it looks like a two-tone purple and green. Um, that's actually pretty darn awesome. I like that color profile. I like that shape. I just can't, can't for the life of me remember the name brand that has that same style of worm paddle. If you can remember, if you can think of that company, please, please drop it in the comments below so I don't drive myself mad at two in the morning trying to remember the name of that manufacturer that has that tail like that. The uh, Buddha Baits Swagger Worms are also $4.99, same as the Katana Hooks. Uh, Stanley Jigs Swim Max Jig. So here's a manufacturer I'm not really aware of. I have a 3 8 ounce in assorted colors, this is their 3 8 ounce Swim Max Jig made in the UA. So, here's a nice little weedless swim jig. Obviously, got that swim profile head, lead head, uh, silicone skirt, nice bristle weed guard. I do like that. That's got that nice. Uh, chopped off weed guard so it's not just blunt it's actually feathered down so again uh, like I suggested in in another um, video when we're talking about the Guggen baits that use that u-shaped or that that horseshoe shaped um, cove out for their uh, for their guards I used to take the round guards like this uh, and I would just take a pair a razor blade or a pair of snips and I would snip back little bits of the of the guard in the back here by the hook point and thin out tremendously thin out this back half so that it made the front half sharper 
and softer so they had less uh, less impending so they could fold over a lot easier and it made my hook sets to me a lot easier um, I wasn't fighting against all this this mass of, of uh, nylon uh, when I was trying to pinch off now this is a very supple weed guard so that's really nice this is probably very good for for hook sets uh, very sharp hook Let's see who is this a hook manufacturer again it does not they tell, ay, ay, ay. I wish they would list all their hooks. I mean, it's proprietary. It's their own hook. But uh, nevertheless, double hook keeper molded into the lead. It's that bell style hook. That'll hold some plastics pretty well. Um, obviously not Z-Man plastics, but uh, I, I tend to use a different style hook keeper for those. But your standard plastic, soft plastic trailers, this is going to do well. I believe so. Um... Yeah, not bad. This is a uh, $4.61 item. Not bad. I like that. All right, and finally, last on the list, and it's good that it's last, because I'm going to show you something in a moment. I'm gonna, I got my day bag over here, and I know I've got them in there. Uh, X-Zone Lures Pro Series Adrenaline Bug. I recently got X-Zone Lures in my um, Rush Tackle subscription, my Rush Tackle Box subscription, and... Looking down in this box, even out of the corner of my eye, I can already tell you I'm very disappointed, MTB. <sighs> so, if Rush Tackle Box, which is a $25 a month subscription, can supply you with this product, there is no excuse, MTB, when I'm paying, you know, over $40 a month, double the price, basically, nearly double the price per month, for this box, that is the elite tier, where Rush Tackle has one flat level plan. Uh, you don't have a, a, an upgrade per se. I'm paying top of the line. I shouldn't see this. It's it's aggravated me to no end from from the get go. I didn't see it initially from the beginning. It was very cordial, but it's just it's showing its head every so often, and it's it's becoming more and more apparent that this is the way they go. A four pack of X-Zone Lures Adrenaline Bug in black and blue. So bear with me for a second here while I pop open my, my day bag and pull out a whole handful of soft plastics. I don't need that, that's weights. I'm gonna feed through here, here's an X-Zone. <laughs> Look at that, right off the freaking top. Right off the bat, and it's the right ones. All right, Rush Tackle Box, X-Zones, Adrenaline bl Bug, Four inch, right? Adrenaline bug. The four inch. Four pack. Eight. A full package of adrenaline bugs consists of eight baits, not four. That's a sample pack. Black and blue. Same color. Adrenaline bug. Rush tackle. Adrenaline bug. Black blue. Eight. Eight. Says it right there. Eight. Adrenaline bug, eight each. Why are you giving us samples in an elite box? You can give samples in the standard, throw in some other things, but you can give them a sample pack so they can try it out, and then go to the site and order a full pack. But when you pay for an elite tier box, you should get full packs of baits. You don't like giving out full packs? You want to chimp and skip and lie about the price? Three, uh, $2.99. For, for four, so what? That makes this. That makes this six dollars. It's not a six dollar bait for eight. Adrenaline bugs are not six dollars for an eight pack. Um, I mean, I'll double check that, but I, I'm darn sure they're not six dollars for an eight pack. Um, at any rate, two ninety nine they say for that sample pack of adrenaline bugs. That's the one. That's the one thorn in this box. That's the one stick in my craw with this box. Everything else. Uh, you know, although the evergreen is overpriced, that's I'm going to give that to the manufacturer. That's like getting a jackhammer. A jackhammer is an overpriced chatterbait, but you're paying for the quality and the upgrades that you see in that design and the add the add-ons that they put to that design to make it react faster, immediately start vibrating over your standard chatterbait, changing the way that you tie on to make it re you know as soon as it hits the water and you start tugging, it's it's giving off that vibration and calling in the fish. They go into that specific design and tweak it. You're going to pay the premium price for a premium quality product. So I'll give the the price, uh, the premium price for this product for the 
paint scheme and the quality that I assume and assured probably will be there. Um, it is, you know, an international bait. They are a Japanese designed product. So we all know the innovations in fish come out of Japan. The, the highest quality reels that I've personally ever been with um, for freshwater have all come out of Japan. So I'll give that to them. The Bagley Spit, uh, spit Spin R. I like that. I like, uh, you know, prop baits. Again, high price, but Bagley's a good name brand, and I, I trust the quality. It's, it's $11 out of my pocket today that I can then pass down to my grandchildren later because there are people like myself. I still have my father's old baits. I have my grandfather's old baits, things that are from the, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s that have lasted and lasted. And yeah, they're beat up and they're chipped and they've got some dings and nicks in them, but they still float. They still catch fish. They still have hooks that, you know, you change out the hooks if you have to, if they rusted out because your grandpappy didn't take care of them. <laughs> but, uh, or you as a six-year-old didn't take care of them either. You know, truth be told. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you, you can always keep the body of the bait will last. And as long as the quality's there, that this bait holds up, doesn't flake out and fade in the, and crack in the sun. Um, you know, bandits catch fish. They give you the thrill and the pleasure of going out and, and bringing in fish on your outing so it's worth the investment it's worth the money and you get you get your money's return in the life of the bait um but that's that's chip that's that's cheating that's cheap that's a ripoff uh at any rate other than the sample pack the single sample pack um everything else i think is right on board uh again not a bad setup not a bad setup at all so if you did like this uh, if you like uh, MTB and the idea, I mean, you get things like I never would have seen, I never would have come across this company, this uh, this Swimax jig by Stanley. I never would have found that in any of my tackle shops. And I certainly never would have had the Strike King, um, this really cool jitterbug bait. That's not sold anywhere near me. So this gives me a lot of options to see things and try things that I otherwise wouldn't come in contact with. And that's the godsend that uh, MTB provides. Again, if you are like me and a lot of the stores are, are shut down or they're only doing that thing where they pick the lures off the shelf for you and I don't trust that. I like to make sure that all the hooks are there and nothing's broken and there's no dings in the paint. You know, I mean, I like that. Um, <laughs> but uh, this adds a void or fills a void in, in that aspect. If you like it, the link will be down in the description below. Uh, as always, I will list all the items in my description and timestamp it so that you don't have to listen to all this rambling. You can just, you know, move on to what you want. If you're just interested in the bandit, I'll have the timestamp on the bandit. You just click to the bandit, etc., etc., etc. God bless. Stay safe. Uh, I have a couple more videos coming up. I will have a Angler's Hall for May coming soon. Uh, Angler's Hall gets a good shout out. I did have a, a damaged item that came in the post from my Angler's Hall that came May 1st, but it was actually April's Angler's Hall. Uh, it had a damaged product and they are honoring, uh, replacing it for me. So that's awesome. That's good customer service right there. The best customer service in all of these subscriptions so far, Angler's Hall and MTB. Those two companies I've never had issues with. Every other company that I've had to deal with so far, uh, I haven't had any issues to, to call uh, Rush Tackle Box on, but other companies, Lucky Tackle Box, um, MB, the, the other companies, they, they've had horrible customer service, LTB being the worst. Um, Monster uh, Mystery Tackle Box, uh, never had a problem, have always been straightforward, and I think it shows, I don't think anybody's had too many bad things to say about it uh, within respect of, you know, Obviously, things happen and they get flooded, but that being me here nor there. Uh, when they do come in contact with a person, they rectify the situations immediately. Uh, the same can be said with Angler's Hall. So for those two companies, big thumbs up. If you like this video, definitely share it to your friends and put it out on social media. Hashtag it hookaholics, um, as always, because that's what we are. We're a hookaholic family. And uh, I'm going to post another video. i got a thing sitting over there shortly. And uh, you're going to see I am definitely... A hookaholic. <laughs> I just can't resist sometimes. Uh, God bless, stay safe, tight lines, and I will catch you all on the next cast. Peace.